Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I am going to be making the journal cover, or start the journal cover, for my second haberdashery journal. I have actually finished this one, it's all done. So we all had a really, really lovely um, Easter weekend. I did, I was cooking and I burnt my hand on here which is really really sore I broke three of my nice nails so I've just chopped them all off and I'm going to start all over again so that's really sore as well so I've just covered it up because I keep knocking it you know when you get a blister when you've burnt yourself but it's so sore I'm so clumsy I shouldn't cook um, I should just sit in my craft room I think sit in my craft room and craft um, I'm a lot less um, dangerous in here than I am cooking so anyway, I have finished this. I've sat in the evenings and I finished the um, the little closure here as well. Um, I really, really love that. I think it looks really, really lovely. So quick little look of the actual journal cover. So I've added that on, which I made um, into the little um, brooch bin. Um, I've added this onto there. Um, I just stuck it on. Um, on this bit. I just glue gunned this bit on um, because it wasn't easy obviously to um, sew it on to that. I should have done it in the beginning really. Um, I've got this little um, pin with some little dingly danglies on which is lovely. There's scissors, a sew machine um, and a little um, safety pin on there. That's just to keep this closed. Um, and then I've just done the closure which I just sort of like did a little bit of slow stitching um, on here which I just love. I had such fun making this. I was going to cover the back um, but I thought I won't because I think it's quite nice actually just to see what I've done on the back of it. Um, I think it looks really really nice so loving that. So um, inside I'll go through both of them um, when I've actually finished um, doing the journal so I can't even remember how I put this on now I'm just going to wrap this around so doing it like this and clipping it on you can pull it as tight as you like um, so you can you've got all this sort of wiggle room so if you want to add to it um, you can add all sorts of bits and pieces to it and then just pin it together you could pin it with a little brooch or something like that but I'm just loving that um, I've got some of, some of my little um, seam binding flowers on there which I've actually just sewn down um, which I love I really had fun doing that so loving it so I'm doing a little bit of a different cover on this one I'm going to just pop this to the side a moment I'm going to be making a, um, a hard cover and I've covered a piece of card. I've done one bit. Um, so let's just pick, I can't pick anything up with my nails now they're short, um, which is very strange. Um, but there we go. I've got a piece of card, um, which is, it's like chipboard. And then I've got another piece, which is just Amazon packaging. So this is a little bit thinner. Um, and what I've done, I've covered the board with a piece of my um, pattern paper. It's the digital kit and also the inside bit. So I'm going to pop those two together like that. So you want two for the front and two for the back. Um, so it's, I'm going to, look, I did this as well. Look at that. I think it's just gorgeous. I hope you can see. I've just done some of these little... Um, it's my seam binding flowers and a couple of like the little yo-yos on there and then some of those beautiful little sequin flowers. I've got some sort of like lace in there, some of that lovely um, tool over the top. Um, so that's going to be the spine. I might add a few more bits and pieces to that before I actually stick it on. Um, so I've got another piece of, this is just like calico and I'm going to sandwich that in between. So I'm going to take a piece like that sandwich it in between let me just if i can pick it up i'm just going to show you so i'm going to just stick that inside obviously nice and neatly let's just pop that on there just to hold it like that so that's going to be on the inside bit if you know what i mean and then we'll sandwich the other side together sew this in to this piece like that sew it down to this piece and then stick this 
over the top so you don't see the, the sort of like signature being sewn in like that so that's the idea of it and I like this on here I think that looks really nice so that's what I am doing pop that to the side I might make a little pocket out of this actually for the inside I like that so yes I've had a busy weekend well not really busy but busy cooking and doing bits and pieces going for a couple of walks because it's been absolutely pouring with rain yesterday was beautiful so we did a nice beach walk yesterday morning which was lovely um, so I'm going to take the harder piece and then I think I'm going to put this piece on it this is sort of like got instructions on so turn that over put that over there I'm going to just glue this little bit of glue stick just to stick it down because I will um, sew around this as well because my sewing machine goes through this card this chipboard I don't know how thick it is um, I think I threw away the packaging now but you can buy this um, in packets if you want it or just use a piece of um, Amazon packaging if it's not thick enough just to sort of like double it together just stick a few layers of it together and you'll get a nice thick piece of card right let me make sure I've got this the right way so I want it on this piece enough so that I can fold it in I think that's about right let's turn it over Make sure that's stuck down nicely. I'm going to cut the little bits off. Don't need those bits. Don't need that bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold this over like this. So instead of doing a fabric -y one, I'm just going to cover it with this. I might stick an actual bit of the actual pattern paper over the top as well the thin stuff um, I'm not sure yet but we shall see but let's just stick this down just pop it into the little corners like that nice and simple where's my little little scorer here we go let's go in here So yeah, I've just been sort of like doing some slow stitching in the evenings and I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been really nice because obviously the clocks have changed now, haven't they? So um, it's a lot lighter in the evenings now, which I can't wait for summertime. We've had real sort of showers, lots and lots of lots of rain. Um, it's been lovely it's been nice because then I don't feel like I should be outside doing things if you know what I mean if it's nice sunny weather I feel like I should be outside making the most of it but because it's been raining and a bit chilly it's quite nice to sort of like snuggle up on the sofa on a Sunday isn't it there we go okay let's have a little bit of glue can I just I'm not going to use that I'm going to use my tacky glue on here going to stick the corners down first a little bit of glue on there like this oh I've got lots of lovely um, you've posted lots of your lovely Friday freebies in there in the group um, this week I've got lots more to add into it today um, from Friday Freebie 183 so if you're going to do that it was the challenge that was that I asked you to do on, on Friday um, and I'm going to show them as many as I can at the end of the Friday Freebie video this week on Friday um, so you've got some amazing stuff you guys are so good um, I'm loving them all so if you haven't posted yours yet, post yours in the group um, and then we can see them all at the end of the video on Friday. So 
I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing for this Friday freebie actually. I'm sort of in the making of it at the moment. So let's just do these bits. A little bit of glue. You could probably, oh no, maybe not. If you weren't going to sew, you could probably stick these down with double sided tape. But if you're going to sew, don't use double sided tape because it doesn't, your sewing machine um, doesn't like it. It gets all stuck in the needle. Which I learned that a long, long time ago when I first started sewing on the machine. Um, so don't do that. But if you don't sew on a machine, then you can just do it with a bit of double sided tape. It's nice and quick as well. But I like to sew on my machine. So this is going to be glued down. This has gone a bit thick in here actually. Might need to water this down. And a little bit of water because sometimes the holes are so small and the glue is quite thick. Um, and it doesn't come out of the, the little nozzle very well. There we go. That will do. Plus, I leave the lid off, which doesn't help. Okay. Let's stick that down. There we go. So, this is so simple to do. I have printed onto one this onto 160 GSM paper. Now I already had this printed, that's why I'm using it, but I would probably use a thinner paper because this is quite thick uh, to stick around it. So you could probably even use your normal printer paper, so like 80 GSM or something like that, or 120. But this is 160 and it is pretty, you know, it's quite a thick paper. It's what I would use to use to uh, make my journals pages with. It's not the best to cover something unless you want it to be quite hard and sturdy. Okay, so that's on there like that. Right, what I will do, I will cut another piece and then I will just quickly go and cover this piece. You don't need to see me do that twice. Okay, perfect. So I have done both of those now. So we've got a front and a back, um, one, one thinner and one thicker one. On here, I've sort of like measured the middle or I've, I've sort of like done a little ink mark along the middle of this. Now I'm just thinking this is gonna be a little bit too flimsy. So I'm just trying to think what I can actually pop on because I'm gonna pop that on the outside but I think this is going to be I think the it's going to be a t bit too sort of like bendy um, so I'm just trying to think I've measured the I've got the middle bit and then I've just measured an inch from either side so that's where these are going to go so we've got that one's going to be sandwiched in there and that one's going to be sandwiched in there and then our journal will be sewn into that middle line there but I think this is going to be a bit too wibbly wobbly. So I'm just trying to think. I've got some like burlap, which I might. Do you think I can stick that on? What do you reckon? Do you think it's going to be too thick to go? I don't think so. But I think that will just make it a little bit sturdier. Might net because you won't see it. I'm not sure whether to put. I could put actually. I could put that on the inside, couldn't I? What do you think? That would be quite nice. That looks quite nice, actually, doesn't it? And then that can go on the outside. So, do you reckon heat and bond would do that? Unless I just, unless I can just. Um, sew it around there what do you think I think I might actually do that if it doesn't work it doesn't work let's just cut this up
like that. Okay, that's that done. Let's just cut these little ends off. I don't mind if it frays. What do you think? Maybe I'll just do one end. I might leave that as the bottom piece. And let's just cut this top piece off. I could probably um, stitch that anyway, couldn't I? So it doesn't unravel. Let's see. Now I think that's going to give that a little bit more stability, I hope. That's quite nice in the front, actually, 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 actually. Okay, so that's going to be the middle. I think I can ink that so I can see where I can do my, my middle line. Let's just ink that down. Okay, so that's our middle line, like that. Let's take that off my finger. And what I need to, to do then, the same thing, is just put these out of the way. I need to just do an inch either side. Will my pencil work? Really, will it? Let's get our Posca. So, if I put an inch here, that's just where it's gonna. Turn it around. Just roughly so I know where it's gonna. Um, go into line up don't know whether I'm going to see that actually it's probably a lot easier way of doing this can you see that don't really want to do it in black just about to see that okay just a rough line doesn't have to be perfect do you think I need to right that's the back so that goes this side doesn't it okay I don't think I needed to do that probably not that's the bottom. That's got to go. I've got the lines on there, so I probably didn't even need to mark the other side, did I? That was a bit silly. So that can squash. So I think I'm going to have to just do a little stitch at the top and the bottom just to make sure that they don't move. Let's do that. Let's be safe. Well, I wanted this to be quick, but it's a bit fiddly now. Now I've been thinking about it. Let's make some room. Let's bring in our machine. Pop that to the side. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I was going to make a pocket with this one. Let's turn our machine on. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just stitch along here. Just a little ziggy zaggy stitch, just to keep it in place. It doesn't have to be right at the bottom because I don't really want to see it. Actually, I don't want to, let's move it up a little bit. Perfect, there we go. 
Oh, my scissors. They're not my scissors. Where's my nice scissors? Here they are. Pop that out of the way. There we go. That's better, isn't it? So, am I having this in the middle? Shall I have that in the middle? Let's have a look. What do you think? That looks quite nice, actually. I like that hessian on there. Burlap, whatever you like to call it. Yes, that looks quite nice. So that's the middle. So we need to do it this side, don't we? Because that's... Oops, let's get rid of this thread. I've got a faint pencil line just down there, which I'm going to stick this on like that. So that's the middle bit. This is going to be the front one. I think that's a little bit better. And then this will just go over the top. I'll probably just tidy that up a bit, but I think I might add a few more little bits and pieces to that tonight. Okay, let's get off fabric tack and just do this. Let's just sew it, glue it, whatever we're going to do. I'm going to glue it and then I'm going to sew it around anyway. If we can get our glue out, there we go. bit of fabric tack. There we go. Okay, make sure we are the right way round. Maybe I've stuck that upside down. I have, I think, haven't I? Okay, let me just lift this off quick because I want this bit at the bottom because that's the sewn bit. Right, so that's the front, so that's just going to be the back. God, what a mess. Let's do this side and I'll put that on in a minute. I'm thinking of head of myself, that's the trouble. When you're doing videos and stuff, you're trying to think a little bit ahead of what you're supposed to be doing next. And I got a little bit ahead of myself there. Okay, that's the front. Stick that down and let's do the back. Perfect. Switch way round this way there we go okay I'm going to just stick that on perfect take a little bit of that off that's a nice flat bit for the bottom Okay, that feels a little bit sturdier. That's a lot, lot better. Okay. Now, we have to pop this one on. Okay. That's the front, so this one needs to go on there. Like that. And this one goes on there. Like that. Let's just hope I've done this right. I might have to cut that off actually after all of that. Never mind. Right, what should we stick it on? Fabri Tac? I think that's probably our best bet, isn't it? If it will come out. There we go. Like I said, I'm going to sew around the outside of it anyway once it's dry like that this is going to go in here 
Then I will just go around that. Okay, let's stick this one on. Make sure I am in the right way round. There we go. I want them to look two different, sort of like journal covers. One sort of like the fabric slow stitch one and then this one. Um, I don't really want them both the same. Probably would if I was selling them, but I'm not selling them. They're going to be sitting on my shelf. Okay. Put that on. Make sure that's on there properly. I think they might have to go under a little weight. Maybe I'll pop it under a couple of books in a minute. Like that before I sew and then it will be dry. Is that level? Think about the fabric tack, you've got a little bit of wiggle room if it's not quite right place. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I like that in the middle. That looks really nice actually, doesn't it? For that. Could always cover this bit up anyway. We shall see. We could pop a little bit of lace down there even over that. Right, I'm going to just quickly go and pop this under a something heavy. So two seconds. Okay, so I left this for about half an hour for these to dry. So it's all nice and dry and I've actually sewn around the outside. So if you can sort of like see, I've just done a sort of like a zigzag stitch all array around the outside. This one was a little bit difficult because it, this didn't quite, it only just fitted in my machine. Um, so it's a little bit wibbly wobbly, but you're not gonna see that anyway because we're gonna cover that up. Um, you can probably see it a little bit better on this side. So I think that sort of like, you know, um, hardened it just a little bit. So that will be sewn into the middle, which I love, which looks really nice, doesn't it? Um, and then obviously this will go on the outside, which looks beautiful, loving it. So, and also I need to cover this up. So this is the sort of line, I hope, which is probably in the middle. Let's hope it's in the middle. So what should we do with that? What do you reckon? Brown, white, something like this just on here. Let's unravel it. So I was just thinking just something like that. Or maybe... Just for me, just sort of pretty it up just a little bit. Don't think there's going to be enough on there. Well, we have white, which is quite pretty. So that would that could probably go in quite far. So you could just sort of like stick that on with a little bit of fabric tack, which is pretty, isn't it? So let's just have a think. Just for me, that's nice, isn't it? I did want to put a pocket on here first. I think I'm going to use this. But do I want this over the top of the pocket? Probably. I think. I think we just have like a nice pretty little pocket. I think that could probably go over the top. Could go a little bit further in. Yes, we'll do that. I think we'll do that if I remember. Let's just stick these down. Let's just roll that back up. Let's pop that on there with our little pin. Perfect. So what shall we do? Biggish pocket? 
I like this. This is the one that I bleached. If I, if you remember, if you saw it, I had a, a grey top, quite a dark grey, um, and I bleached it and came out this lovely colour. So what should we do? Because this is this is what I've put underneath this. Shall I put some of this over the top so it matches? Let's see what we've got. I just love this. I just think it's so soft and so pretty. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to have to take it all off. Let's take it all off anyway. Right. Not that I need a huge amount of it. But if we could sort of like pop it on here and just wrinkle it up a little bit like I did on the other one. Do you know what I mean? Just maybe I need to make some more little flowers just so this sort of like matches on the inside. So I think that's I'm loving this colour. I really do. I think that's probably why I picked this nail polish because it's sort of like a similar colour, isn't it? I'm trying to make my nails look better. They look so small feels so funny not to have long nails okay which is the short end does it matter let's just chop a little bit off here shall we this is what I got in Spain so if I can't get it here I'm gonna to have to send my daughter out aren't I to the market again and go and buy me some more of this because it's just lovely to do this okay let's just pop that over there for a minute how big a pocket should we just have it let's just have it that big I need my fabric scissors actually there we go these are better oops you think that looks nice doesn't it yes I think I'm gonna to have to bleach this bleach more of this because this is just so pretty and I think it's will go in lots of sort of like different journals won't it okay let's pop this on probably got a little bit too much let's take this cotton out from underneath all as I did was on the other one what did I do I just gathered it up where's my pins I've got a couple here I just sort of like gathered little bits up like this let me just pin it these are nice big pins Yes. I think this might be something I'm going to be doing tonight but I'm going to just give you an idea of how I did it just gather a little bit of like little tooly fabric over the top and you get these lovely little wrinkly bits in it this way so I can pin it. Got another pin there and as you sew it you can just sort of like pull the bits together but this will just sort of like give you a bit of a guide to doing it and another bit we could just have it so it sort of does that just wrinkle it up something like that so that's how I did it I'm going to leave these pieces because I might actually sort of even bring those in just have a little bit more I've got another pin there we go. These. let's do it this way and then I can pin it better but 
you get the idea, don't you? Just like that. Take this and just pin that in. Now we've got nice little wrinkly bits on there, just like Brozip. Can you see? They're just these sort of like little bits that are running down there. Not that you can see too many now because I have sort of like covered them up with sort of like the flowers, but I just love the way it is. This little one is just a little piece of this that I've cut out, that little flower. So I could probably cut some of those out, couldn't I, and pop them on. Just so pretty. So that's the sort of thing that I'm going to put on the on the inside cover, I think. So that will fold and then maybe just tuck these bits down and just sew those on like that. So I will do that tonight and then we will hopefully get this finished tomorrow because um, I'm just keep going and going with this journals. But look, I think that looks lovely and then again we will pop Maybe we'll see a little bit of white over the top. We shall see. Unless we gather a little bit of this up. I don't know, but we will have a go. I'm going to just leave it there for today, guys. So we've done this lovely cover. Really, really simple. Um, so nearly there, nearly there. And then we just got to, let's pop that to the side. Figure out if I'm going to pop anything on the front. Or maybe I'll just pop a little bit of lace or something down the side. But just loving it like this on the side on there fabulous okay guys well thank you so so much for joining me um what should i do with my other big journal when i've actually finished them both i will give a nice big flip through of the two of them um, but i'm absolutely loving them and i've really really enjoyed doing this um, especially doing the slow stitching which i really didn't think i would like doing but i am absolutely loving it um, and I've added so many different little bits and pieces as you keep going I've just taken a little pot of just um, little odds and ends little scraps and just sewn them on um, and I just think it looks really really lovely so it's a really nice thing to do in the evening so loving it so there we go guys well thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic evening. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you guys soon. All right, guys, bye-bye.